We're going to depart from our usual type of biography this Thanksgiving weekend. We thought we'd share with you the thoughts and memories of one family as they give thanks and remember life with father. Father was Gary Lawton's well-known columnist for the Toronto Star newspaper. His column, most often about the day-to-day -day adventures and misadventures of his family, was syndicated throughout North America. On tonight's CTV biography, meet the family many of us grew up reading about. Once upon a time, there was a woman named Jackie who fell in love with a newspaper columnist named Gary Lawton's. He was a great believer in laughing at himself. And, uh, you know, it's nice that we have his words to, uh, to remember him, him by. They married and had three children. Uh, yeah. They were, I mean, very loving, romantic couple. And so they sort of showed us how people should interact together. I mean, there's always flowers around and cute little gifts, and they're always thinking of each other. Hugging. Hugging. And what we used to say, cut out the mush. Stephen, the eldest, would grow up to be a lawyer and a wannabe politician. Dad listened to everything. He was a great observer of his own family and the world out there. Jane, the second child, is now a wife and mother to year-old Madeline. He was a sensitive guy. He knew. He knew what would really hurt your feelings, and he didn't want to hurt your feelings. He just wanted to have a chuckle, and if we could laugh with him, then he would write about it. And Richard, the youngest, is a news photographer. We were just a normal family. We'd come home, Dad would go to work in the morning. We'd go to school each day. We'd come home, we'd have dinner together. We'd go to bed at the same time. We'd ride our bikes, we'd do whatever. Just so happened there was sort of the recording secretary take a look at everything we did. And look at everything he did. For decades, nearly everything this family experienced, everything from holidays to romantic moments to weddings, all was material for the newspaper column their father wrote. He used uh, the column, I think in a loving way, to, to poke fun at his own family and to, to show his, his, his fondness for us. It says, my daughter finally asked the question that strikes terror in every father's heart. Oh, we know it's coming. We can brace ourselves. We can rehearse our answers. We can tell ourselves it isn't the end of the world. But all that goes out the window when your daughter looks you in the eye and says, can I have a white, white rat, Daddy? Jackie reads from a collection of her husband's columns. Uh, Jane took the rat to the kitchen and her mother took care of the situation. It's easy to be a mother, Jane muttered as she left the house to return the white rat. All you have to be is crabby. So was there ever anything he wrote about that angered any of you? I remember one time. <laughs> I was going to say, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. No problem. <laughs> Mom? Uh, something soon. to add? Yeah. Actually, he didn't write about it, but Toronto Life interviewed him before a Valentine's Day for a Valentine's special, and they said, what are you going to do for Valentine's Day? And he says, I'm going to dip my wife in chocolate and then spend the day licking it <laughs> off. Lawton's work won him the Stephen Leacock Medal for humor. His column was wildly popular, especially when he wrote about the children. Take the time they earn bonus points in cash for good behavior. We have no trouble with Jane. She takes her dough and runs into her bedroom where she counts it that hides it under a loose floorboard or something. She's a saver. Richard uh, usually doesn't get any bonus, so he takes his five cents, usually loses it, swallows it, or tries to stuff it up his nose. But Stephen is something else. Stephen likes to spend. He's drawn to stores like a magnet. He's so good at getting rid of money, I'm sure he's going to wind up in government. For a family that's been picked apart, you're so normal. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're on our best behavior, Sam. Gary Lawton's wrote his last column the day before he died of a heart attack three and a half years ago. He was only 63 years old. His family and his words are his legacy. I like it at home. I like to have the kids around raising hell. I like my wife to tell me what happened that day. Home is cozy and where I want to be is this is written you see by a happy man whose only regret it is that it has all gone much too fast. It all go much too fast.